Remember, gymnastics is all about controlling your body in lots of different situations. Balancing is a large part of gymnastics. So we're gonna do something that I call balance puzzles. I'm gonna show you a balance puzzle. I'll show you one way to do it and what these mean. Uh, but also for each of these puzzles, I want you to think if there's more than one way to do it. Some there are, some there aren't. And we're gonna work on holding balances for at least three seconds. In my classes, I count it one apple, two apple, three apples. So the first one is with one foot only touching the floor. So whatever you see on the card, that's what's touching the floor. I like to do this as a stork stand. Take your foot, touch your knee, one apple, two apple, three apples. Do that with both feet. Try the other one. One apple, two apple, three apples. There are more ways to do that. Can you come up with at least two more ways to do a balance with one foot touching the ground? On your next balance puzzle, it's two feet and one hand. So again, we can do this a number of different ways. I'll show you one thing and see if you can come up with one or two other ways to do this one. Now, I know a balance puzzle isn't always going to be hard. One thing I want you to think about is anything that's not touching the ground, make that a good extension. That means get that other arm or leg as straight as you can, as pointed as you can in a direction. So two feet in one hand. All right, it could look like this, but I'm gonna take the hand that's not on the ground, all right, and make it a gymnastic extension. Get it straight, get it long and pointed. And maybe I could put my hand a different direction. All right, put it out here with a good extension. Hold it, one apple, two apple, three apples. Again, come up with one or two different ways to do that same balance puzzle. Think about good extension, hold that balance for at least three seconds. So I like the next puzzle. It's two hands, one knee, one head. So you're gonna have your head touching the ground, one knee and two hands. So I'm gonna take my two hands, head, knee, which means one knee is up. So again, good extension with that back leg. Straighten it and point it, one apple, two apple, three apple. There might be at least one way to do that differently. See if you can come up with a different way to do that one. We'll do one more together on video, and then I'll, I'll also have some other pictures of different ones that you can try. And the best part about this, you don't have to see a balance puzzle card to make up your own. Think about different things that you can do to hold different balances with different parts of your body touching the ground. So we're gonna do one foot, one elbow. This one is a little bit tougher, may take some practice. So I'm gonna go down, go up, see if I can get one foot. One elbow, straight, one apple, two apple, three apples. How still can you hold it? Be a statue, don't move. That is the other part of a balance. All right, don't move. See how long you can be a statue, hold it for at least three seconds. So work on the other balance puzzles that will be on the screen, but also make up some of your own. Have fun with that.